let's uh, let's get rolling. Let me switch my. Okay. Hey, Diana. All right, let's go back and squeeze. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We get tomorrow off, so we're gonna work hard today. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Let's roll it around. And interlace the fingers and squeeze one. Let go two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Good. Let's uh, yeah. Let's just toss it up in the air and catch with opposite hands. Three, two, one. We've been assessing all along. Of course, we'll put the ball down and step on it three times. Right in the middle of the foot. Moving it up to the knuckles. Sliding it across the knuckles. Bring it down to the middle of the top of the foot and pivoting on the toes as it slides across the top of the heel, I mean, to say. Put it right under below the um, first knuckle and press down, roll it down to the side of the top of the heel on that side and press down. Other side, middle of the fifth metatarsal, press down, roll it down the bones. Here you and scribble. Three, two, one, reassess how that leg feels in relation to the other. A little bit more rooted, I bet. So we'll bring the other one up to speed by pressing down three times. Up to the knuckles. Sliding it across the knuckles. And bringing it down to the middle of the top of the heel and pivoting on the toes. Bring it below the first knuckle and pressing. Sliding it down a little bit to the side of the top of the heel and down over to the fifth metatarsal and down. Let's roll it down the bones. And scribble. Put it aside and reassess. Oh, shake the tree. 
more bounce to move the energy either way or both. We're going to open up the hips today. So this is the start. Three, two, one. Center. Nice deep breath. One more. Let's rub the hands together. Cultivate some chi before we do some more qigong. And form that chi ball. I want to step out, heel to toe, and then come back. Try that again. On the heel to toe, shift the weight and come back. Try it the other way. Heel, toe, and back. And let's just let that chi ball take you wherever you want. Forget the heel, the toe for now. Whatever it's doing, it's okay with us. Three. Two, one, centered, two deep breaths. And twist at the waist and swing the arms. That chi is flowing out of those hands. And pause, one deep breath. And we'll go right into some ocean wave breathing. And pause to depress. Let's march in place. If you hear a fluttering sound, it's a bird trying to bust into the window for some reason. Alaska, who is sitting right there is obviously not a threat. You can jog if you want. And with 20 seconds left, I'm going to go all out. Go jog run today I'll sprint. You don't have to, you can stay at this pace. Pick it up just a little, maybe. Whatever is safe for you. In five, four, three, two, And twenty. Two deep breaths. Let's interlace those fingers. Bring them over the head. 
Extend back if you can. And come up. One side. And then the other. Center. Come down. Press out of the chest. Come down and shrug. Roll back. And forwards. Bend the arms and rotate. In the other direction. One palm up, one palm down, and flip, flop, flip, flop. Speed it up a little. And bring it in, bring your fingertips together and press. And bring your palms together and press. And bring one arm across your body at the throat and pressing on the elbow. Other arm. And bring one arm behind the back. And then the other. Let's rotate the neck. In one direction. And then the other. And nod. Here's the shoulders, both sides. And looking up and down. Over one shoulder. And then the other. And let's bend over. Feet are more than shoulder width. Leaning down. A little further, fingers touch the ground. Let's walk them out into a pipe. Hold that, stretch the calves and the hamstrings. Hold. We're going to come down on all fours. And slightly move your hips back, keep your spine straight. Once it starts to bend, or curve, stop, and come back up. So keep your spine neutral, go back down towards your heels and come back up once you feel the spine begin to curve. Do that five times. And five, nice and slow. 
Come on up, you can kneel, put your hands on the side of your hips and just jut your hip out to the side both ways five times. And then sort of back at a 45 degree angle. Four and five. We're going to lie down on our backs. Soles of the feet are on the floor. And just move your knees to one side, back up to the middle, and the other. Do that five times. This is four for me. Leave the sole of one foot on the floor, bring the other ankle right below the knee. Take your hands and pick up the thigh of the foot whose sole was on the floor and bring it to you. Good. Piriformis stretch, hold. And put that foot back down and then press the knee of the foot whose ankle is across the knee, the other leg in other words. Press it away from you. And now let's do the same thing with the other leg. Cross the ankle just below the knee. Put your hands around your hamstring and pull the leg towards you. And put it down and then press the knee of the other leg away from you. And we'll just roll over on our stomachs and bring that leg around your back. And then the other leg. And then come back. Go to all fours. Come up into a pike. Hold that. Stretching again the calves and the hamstrings. Walk your fingers back and slowly come up and grab a stick. Start by grabbing the back of the toes of one leg and pulling it behind us. And now put that foot down, switch the pole to the other hand, pick that leg up and pick it up with the other hand so that it's diagonal across your body and pull. And put it down. And we'll do the same thing with the other leg. 
right behind you as we normally do, holding on to the toes, stretching both the ankle and the quad. Put the foot down, switch hands, use the other hand and pull it behind you. Again, you're grabbing it by the toes, grabbing the foot by the toes. And come down, spread the legs and do a side lunge, stretching the adductors and also the hip flexors, which should be pretty stretched out by the time we get done today. Other way. Come up. Let's roll out. And in. And laterally. And the other way. And punch out five times. Flip flop. and pick it up and over your head and back if you can. And five, let's put it behind our backs in the crook of the elbows and twist. Lean back. Come up, tuck in the chin and peck like a pigeon. One more. Good. Let's bring the pole in front and we'll do toe to heel 15 times. One, two, three, four, Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Let's take the pole and kneel down. Put the uh, same foot that is holding the pole, put the fourth toe in front of it. and then lean into the inside of the pole so that your ankle is flexed. Want to plant our flexion of the ankle and come up. Switch feet, fourth toe in front, knee goes inside the pole, and you're flexing at the ankle. 
more than at the hip, but you're still getting some hip flexor stretch in this. But you're focusing on the ankle. Okay, bring it out. Go back to the other foot. Now put the foot out in front of the pole and really lean, stretching the hip flexor. The feet are on the flat on the floor, 90 degrees. You're not stretching the ankle this time, you're stretching the hip flexor. And come back up, switch legs. And come back up and we'll stand. Let's do uh, 10 kicks with one foot, obviously. <laughs> if you can do two, let me know. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other foot. One, two, three, eight, nine, ten. We'll go behind. Keep the knee straight as you kick behind. If you don't need a pole, don't use it. Two, we're doing the other leg. Seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're going to come across one. Two, three, ten, and let's do some hip extensions out. the leg. And then some butt kicks. One, two, three, four, five, Six, eight, nine, ten, other leg. Nine and ten. Bring your arm up and try to. Get your elbow and knee as close as you can, even if it's to here, that's fine. Four, as safe as you can, that's as close as you can, that's safe. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other way. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And as we usually do, let's just kick out in front again and see 
if we notice any improvement in our mobility, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 of the foot. And 10. Okay, let's put those sticks down. So, things should be loose. Hips and the midsection so so important to everything in terms of uh, balance, walking, uh, just everything. So, let's pause, take a couple deep breaths. And open our hearts. Pause and send it out. Two. Real deep breaths. Let it all out. And bring down Heavenly Chi. And we'll go down and gather some earth chi. Nice deep breath and exuding ah ha. Gracias. How's everybody doing today? Hello, Don and Cindy. The Amundi T. Thanks. All right, uh, wave to her for me. <laughs> okay, I will. Okay. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> Tom? Yes. Um, uh, quite often when you're on the floor, I can't mm -hmm. see you at all. Oh. So, and, but there's plenty of space by your sides. I was wondering if you could just change the orientation of your camera. Well, yeah, I've got, th I've got three cameras. So uh, I should oh. I'll switch to the other, I'll switch to the other cameras. I do like when I do the, um, um, Rolling the knees across. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'll switch to the uh, well, the other camera. Uh, okay, thank you. And uh, as I'm doing, I should be doing now, actually. Let me uh, get rid of this. Oh, there we go. There. There's the oh. floor camera. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and there's me. So, yeah, I, I'll switch cameras. Thank you. And if uh, anybody, uh, you know, if you can't see me, let me know. 
uh, at any time and I'll, I, I can switch. Okay, Jessica, did you have a question? Or maybe Jessica was saying bye. Okay, um, we're gonna do the five Tibetans today. I'm gonna start with the middle camera and we'll do five turns or you can do this if you get too dizzy doing the turns. One. Two deep breaths, and we're going to go down to the floor. And lie down. Hands are by your side. Soles of the feet are on the floor in the modified version, extended in the regular version. You could put the hands in the lumbar region if you need it for back support. You can put them behind your neck if you need it when you raise your head, neck, and shoulders, or you can leave your head, neck, and shoulders on the ground and just raise the soles of your feet. So a lot of options there. I'm going to start with the regular modified version. Hands are by my side. Head, neck, and shoulders come up same time as the feet and come down. Engaging the core, meaning tightening it the way you would if somebody was about to punch you there. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten and eleven. Two deep breaths. And we'll come up on our knees. Hands are preferably on your hamstrings, can be on your glutes, can be at your side. You can just rock back on your knees if you can't do back extensions. Otherwise, stand back and come forward. That's one, two, four. Seven, eight, nine, and eleven. Two deep breaths. And then we'll come back and sit down again. We're going to end up in an inverted table. You can either do that with the soles of your feet on the floor and the hands by your side or behind you if that's easier. Or with your legs extended, which is the regular way of doing it. Whatever works for you. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to switch to the modified version here. Seven, eight, nine. 
and a left. And now two deep breaths. Get on all fours. And we're going to go up into an upper dog. That's the modified way, unmodified. To start in a down dog and come up. We'll do 11 or less. Starting now. One. Six. I'm going into the regular way. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. And eleven. Come around, sit down, take two deep breaths. Put your legs crossed in front, one in front of the other, one on top of the other, however it's comfortable. You can rotate at the waist or you can lean down as I do. And we're going to do six in one direction and five in the other. That's two. Four. Five. Six and then five in the other. And come around and switch the position of legs. What's in front goes in the back. What's on top goes on the bottom. And we'll do five in the original direction and then six in the other. And the other way, one. Pausing between five and six here to stretch out right in front, taking a deep breath. Taking one more and stretching a little bit more. Going to the left knee. Go on to the right knee. And coming around. So now. How's it?